Hello and welcome to part two of my Dresser Inner Noble series and this one is called a Dashin Doublet. Yes, that's right, the doublet. For those who don't know what a doublet is, it's kind of like the Renaissance Elizabethan Tudor stuff or that very general 16th century version of a button-up shirt, nice dress shirt or button-up shirt. It was also kind of a mixture between a jacket and a shirt and a vest. So. Um, unfortunately, I have no idea what happened with my doublet, so I cannot show you it, but I'm just making this video to kind of give you an idea what's going to be in this article and explain a few things, like I'm going to be discussing very little on uh, the English sub supplementary laws, or subtuary, I'm very sorry, subtuary laws of the 16th century, which pretty much told you what you can and can't wear depending on what cl what class you were like upper middle or lower and what materials you were allowed to wear because they weren't gonna let a peasant wear velvet or a noble wear you know burlap if that even existed back then which I didn't think it did I don't think it did um, there's not gonna be many videos for this particular series because um, it's a line this the devil is not exactly a quick process like you know the collar or the rough is and notice I am wearing the rough once the doublet is made, I am going to be wearing the doublet in the video as well. But this is just to tell you that, hey, I'm sorry, there's not going to be many videos. I'm going to make a little bit, uh, one or two, you know, just to show you the basics, you know, of some things that I feel that I cannot explain through either pictures or text. So sit back, relax, enjoy the article. Um, if you have any questions, you can look down here at squallingcreations at gmail.com if you have any questions or you can go to my hub page which is, should be right there and also you can check out my store on Etsy which I'm gonna put right there alright thank you very much have a good day God save thee